What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle, the home of every indie game you could ever wish or desire to see. If you want indie games, we got indie games. Today we're checking out Planetary Dust Off, which just exited early access on Steam. If you never played this game before, pretty good nuclear throne type game. It's a game where you'll dive down onto planets, you will fight for objectives, it's got a top-down sort of shooter, bullet hell feeling to it. If you've ever played Enter the Gungeon, Nuclear Throne, you know, Vintage Year, all those kinds of games, this is exactly what you're getting into. Let's start a new game, and here we are. We're a little soldier with a little gun inside of our starting base. We're a cadet. Oh yes, we are a cadet. We've got a whole bunch of panels and things that are completely and totally out of order. Apparently I can pay money to repair things, but we don't have any money right now. So, we're going to have to find a way to make some money. Descend to the planet and find out if it's habitable or not. Neutralize resistance, activate any transmission beacons you find down there. Bring back a planetary report. I will descend. The Xenos will fear us. Drop pods, make ready. You there, Xeno, away with you and your shabby self. The Imperium sends its regards. So as you can see, pretty much nuclear throne, but more objective based, I guess. I, it's, I guess it's got more in common with Enter the Gungeon than it does with Nuclear Throne. Just because in Enter the Gungeon, you kind of have like persistent things that happen in between rounds and you have a base that you return back to in order to like upgrade and whatnot. I don't know what that, oh my god, what just happened? I have no idea what just took place. Apparently this guy just drop potted in on me. I'm gonna keep falling back and just firing like a madman and hoping we walk away from this in one piece. This dude don't want to die. That is the truth. Did we get him? Oh, he's down. Nice. He dropped a whole bunch of loot, too. All right, let's kill that dude off. We got a credit card, which we can pick up. I definitely think we should probably make use of that. Spending coins will deal damage to you. We got 100 bullets and 100 lightning. All right, well, let's swap out our guns real fast. We do have an ammo display in the bottom right corner in case you're wondering where the ammo is at for all of our different weapons. As far as I can tell, if I remember correctly, we have like we have energy, we have bullets, we have electricity, and I think we have plasma are the four different ammo types, and different guns will use different ammo types. There's another one right there. 50 bullets out of there. I'll take it. Let's kill that guy off. We got a few more big bad bugs over here that think they can run us like that, but hey... Hey, I'm telling you, remember, remember Rio, okay? The bugs are not going to get away with this. Let's do this thing. Kill them off. Done. We've got a couple of points of interest that we can inspect here. What's inside of this thing? A laser bow. Sure, why not? Laser bow sounds cool. Uh, it seems like it's kind of a nuke weapon that has penetration. I'll take that. I don't know what that is right there. Can I destroy that? I can. Okay. What's going on here? Let's blow it up. All right. You're the one that said it, not me. So it's been blown up. We've got an armor sack that's given us plus five armor. So I assume that we're going to be able to soak some extra hits right there. Maybe not take some damage. We can trade two health for 200 bullets. I don't think I want that. I think we're good. However, I think I will kind of vanquish these little dudes down here if I can. Did that guy just fall out of that insect? What did you get eaten, man? I don't really understand exactly how you got inside of there and managed to wait it on out in the stomach acid until I popped him open with an arrow, but hey, your escape is going to be very, very, very short-lived because I'm going to shoot you. Oh, we have some bullets right there. Nothing inside these guns or whatever. Evacuation is on our E key, so we can just evacuate now. There we go. Light up the flare. I don't know if we have the planetary report or if this is taking me back to town. Oh, they're attacking now. Well, that's no bueno. There we go. I killed three of them with one shot, though, which is pretty rad. Ooh, I killed like four right there with one shot. Nice. Yeah, let me get the ammo, too. I definitely want the ammo before we do anything else. The bow's pretty sweet. I don't mind it. Is there going to be like a drop pod or something? Like, how's this going to work? Oh, it's just going to snag me with, like, Operation Skyhook-like efficiency. Gotcha. All right, well, we'll check out this map now. That guy's now... I mean, this gun pretty much one-shots everything if I can land a hit on it. And since most of the enemies are kind of slow and maintain their distance, I'm not really that worried about using it. I can pay coins to open that. It's going to deal damage to me, obviously. It gave us a bullet grenade pistol. Does it explode on impact? 
It does. It explodes on impact. So I'm willing to take that right there. Pick up the unusual rock. Okay, the unusual rock has been picked. I guess that cost me four bullets every time I fire it. We got 100 plasma right there. That's looking good. We don't really have a plasma weapon right now. Ideally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to line it up in such a way that I end up with at least one of each weapon type so that we can rotate. We got 50 bullets right there. Almost took a hit right there. We can blow that thing up. Which I think is probably a good idea. We've got Space Anomicon, so whenever I roll, it has a chance to summon allies. I'll take that too. That sounds really... Oh, I blew myself up. Let's maybe focus on not blowing ourselves up from now on. On the plus side, we've got some health right there, so I'll take that. Two health back on in. We've got a portal on that side. I don't know if I want to enter the portal. The portal seems worrisome to me as of right now. Can I go inside the cave? Oh, I can. Okay, uh, let's go back to a little pea shooter for right now, just because I need something that fires a little bit more rapidly to deal with some of these problems. There we go, perfect. And that's giving us some more bullets. So what's inside this little cave over here? Anything? I'm gonna go inside. This is new, I've never seen this. Oh, it's a vendor, we can like buy stuff. So we can pay 100 laser, or I can get a broken laser straight sword or a plasma rapier. I don't have the money, so that's not really going to be an option. What happens if I pay? I already have, I don't have enough laser to really go around, so I'm not going to turn in a hundred of my laser right now. I'm being extorted. These prizes are extortionate, and I don't appreciate it, game. How do I get a gun like he's got? His gun is way cooler than my gun. His gun is dope. I wish I had his gun. His gun's like, pow, 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 pow. He's got, like, DACA. I don't have DACA. I wish I had DACA. All right, he's now dead. We'll take out some of these little dudes over here. Perfect. Yep, just go to sleep. It's fine. Just don't think about it. The humans are invading your planet, and yes, we are going to kill you and everyone around you. The heartbreak. You take double damage. Oh, no. Why would, you, why would I want that item? That item wasn't worth killing a boss over. Eh, I gave it a hundred plasma and it was not very nice to me So I'm just gonna ignore it this time around We'll kill off whatever that weird little space critter was because he looked hostile and Then I guess I'll go inside the portal the looter war chief. All right Yep I'm gonna shoot arrows at him the best I can no real clear-cut guarantees here. If you could just stop teleporting around, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Let's get behind this wall over here. Just in the off chance. Yeah, give me my give me my give me my dodge roll immunity. That guy's down. Hey, I got allies. Nice, dude. It summoned more space marines from the warp to assist me in my righteous crusade against the enemies of the Empire. The quiver, bows and crossbows do 50% more damage, nice. Trade an anti-item for your item. Okay. Every fifth bullet fired deals double damage and is free. Nice. So how do I see what items I have? How many anti-items do I have? Spending coins deal damage to you. Okay, so I can do it again. We've got health insurance. Lose coin instead of health when you take lethal damage. Do I have any other anti-items, or am I flat out of anti-items? I'm out of anti-items, so we don't have any further options. Let's go ahead and deploy that right there. And I think our first mission was a resounding success. I think we did a great job of invading an alien world and eliminating them so that we no longer have to worry about their shenanigans. Great work. You've been promoted to private. I have. Does anything cool happen when I become a private? Cannot change your suit mid-run. Apparently, there's different suits that we can unlock as well. I don't know if they do different stuff. I like rocks more than coins. So, one unusual rock for three coins. I'll do it. I like money. Money's good. What do you have? You're in my space right now. All right. Well, obviously, we're not welcome here inside this little science lab. I had thought that scientific exploration and discovery was for everyone. I was wrong. Pay 100 laser for health. Okay. I don't really need to be patched up right now. I think we're looking pretty good. I could pay five coins to open that. What does this guy do? You want to buy some ammo? Okay. 
Can I go back that way? Or is that like a completely locked off area? It looks like it's a locked off area. I guess there's nothing else to be done but go on another mission. So let's descend to the planet. We will neutralize we will neutralize any other alien resistance. Very nice. This planet apparently is coated in undead skeletons. So we've gone from fighting aliens to fighting necromancers. I am happy to see the variation in enemy variety. That's really, really good. There's nothing you ever want in a game less than like going to the second or third level and still be fighting the exact same enemies that you were fighting previously, just like recolored or whatever else. That's a that's that's not a good feeling. Nobody you're like, mm, are these recolors though? Let's maybe not do recolors today. Maybe we should maybe we should avoid the possibility of recovers. Or recolors, I guess. So I am really, really glad to see that they've gone in and each planet appears to have some kind of theme and some kind of central enemy that you'll be fighting it. Oh my god, his shield reflects my bullets. I didn't expect that. I did need that. Oh, that guy tried to stab me with a spear. Good lord. I didn't know he could dash like that. That man's got a laser cannon, which really sort of begs the question, why are you carrying around a spear when you could potentially have a laser cannon? Like, is it like a laser spear? Or some kind of, like, magic spear? There's got to be something special about the spear. Otherwise, frankly, I'm having trouble identifying what the point is. If you have laser cannons, just, like, use the laser cannons, you know? Eh. Do away with the spears. I know nostalgia and everything is really, really cool. And I know that the pining for things of the past can sometimes get the better of us. But, oh, I almost took that one. almost took that one straight to the head. Walk right into it. Let me clear this guy out from behind me, too. He's causing problems. There's more of you over here? All right. If there's got to be more of you, I guess there's got to be more of you. What is that right there? Ooh, what is that? Seven coin for a laser admiral's pistol. If you thought a normal admiral had authority, wait till you find an admiral made out of lasers. I'll do it. Oh, it fires way faster. Okay, nice. I should blow this up. Okay, we will blow this up. There you go. It's been blown up. We've got a Necromancer's Staff. Rolling has a chance to spawn lightning orbs. So we got a couple different chances now on the stuff that we can actually deploy when we roll. We've got a chance to get allies. We've got a chance to grab ourselves like a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra energy backup. We can kind of be the Thunder God out here if we really want to. And I think I do. I think I would like to be the Thunder God. I think the Thunder God, being the Thunder God is my right as a YouTuber. I have claimed it and therefore it must be so. Hey, there's my allies, nice. I was hoping they'd spawn at some point. Could use a little bit of extra attack. Got 50 more bullets right there. We're not really looking great on ammunition. I'll be honest with you, we're gonna need to figure that out. Pay a coin, what happens? Oh, I guess you're just gambling. All right. Well, we did need more ammunition, so I don't feel that bad about gambling. Keep firing my way through here. Ooh, more laser ammo. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme all those bullets. I got too many syllables. Gimme, gimme, gimme all them shells. Put them in the gun and give undead hell. There we go. I had to figure it out. I had to work through it one piece at a time because my brain is not firing on every cylinder right now, okay? Are we going to evacuate when we want? There's still a few other points of interest that we haven't hit up yet. I don't have the six coins in order to open that. And then upward that way, it doesn't look like we have any further contact. But I do like this pistol way better than the last pistol that we were rocking with. This pistol right here. This pistol right here tickles my jimmies. Two health for 200 lightning. Don't really want that. We can go into the cave, though, and see what's inside of here. What's inside the cave? So we've got a plasma undead spear. Ah, so they are plasma spears. So see, then it makes sense why they would have plasma throwers, plasma spears. There's a plasma rocket pistol. I would love to take one of those weapons, but I have this really, really bad problem called money management issues. And so I tend to spend coin in video games about as fast as I can possibly get it. I'm going to roll whenever I can to see if I can get my allies to spawn. It doesn't seem to me as though there's a stipulation that I need to be in direct contact with the enemy in order to get the little unit spawns. And so, like, I'm going to be kind of, like, cheesy here and try to, like, bait it out by rolling a lot. Give me that ammo. We might end up needing that in the near future because I'm going through laser ammo pretty fast right now. I have dedicated myself to the path of the laser, and from it, I shall not diverge. 
I shall not be moved. There we go. We'll knock that out. What is this? Three coins for a plasma rapier. I don't really want one. What if I don't want a plasma rapier and I find your Christmas gift to be lacking, disappointing, and you've now ruined Christmas for me forever? What do we do then? Will you send another one? I'm really, really disappointed. The space invader is always right. The space invader slash customer is always right. Hmm? Hmm? The guy with the laser pistol is frequently correct in his assertions. Oh my god. It's getting a little hectic around here. It's getting a little cray cray. And yeah, maybe just knock that guy out so that he'll stop summoning new turds to ruin my life. I'd appreciate. Oh my god, there was a spearman that I didn't see. What is that? I'm kind of curious what that does, but. Yeah, let's just start firing grenades at people. I'm going to start haphazardly throwing grenades at cats. Wherever the grenade goes is where the grenade goes, unfortunately for my enemies. I think it just gave me a free grenade right there because of the add-on. Yep, you guys are now dead. And we got to make sure we're killing off the summoners first in all these situations. There you go, there you go, there you go. Just kind of spread it around, make it happen. Eventually, we will accidentally hit both of these guys just with the sheer amount of fire that we're putting down. There we go, there we go, there we go. What's going on here? Zombies? Two health for 200 laser? I, I think we're past that junction now. I think we already have pretty, pretty, a uh, lack of tangible options, I think is a really good assessment of what's taking place here. Yeah, I would like it if you guys would just, like, die. Thank you. I'll take your plasma. I can't afford to pay health right now. I'm so broke that I don't even have my health. All right. There we go. Just eliminate him real quick. We'll move up this way. And this level definitely got more difficult than the last one. I will give it that. That is a tacit admission from your boy Splatty. This has gotten much more difficult, but the good news is, is the controls in the game are really, really seamless. The aiming feels dead on. The enemies all have telegraphing attacks, and so, like, everything seems pretty balanced and well-designed so far. What is that right there? Oh, dude, it's a supply drop. Nice. If I stay there, will it drop more, I wonder? I don't think it will. It probably just drops the one, right? That would be my estimate anyways. You guys sure you want to do this, huh? I will take that two health. I will. Two health sounds really good to me. Oh, this guy. Well, I had two health. Now I don't have two health anymore. Uh, what is this item over here? Please tell me it heals me or something. The heart starter. Survive lethal damage once. I also have that thing that makes me lose coins instead of health when I get hit. So I think we should still be all right. I don't know the exact specifics about how that second item, the latter item that I talked about works, but I'm hoping that it only takes like one coin when I take that lethal damage, because if it takes more than one coin, that's going to suck. Now we got a cave right there, enemy right there that apparently I've missed with my... Oh my god, can you please just hit him? Thank you. Just, just shoot the man that I'm telling you to shoot right now. Don't question it, just accept that this man needs to be shot. He needs to be shot. There's a portal. Oh, dude, weak. I can't fight an undead knight right now. I'm in shabby condition. Oh, he was reflecting my bullets back at me, and I didn't realize it until I had already full auto magnumed him. Damn. You're at Violaville Stage 3. Do I get to keep my monies? No, I don't get to keep my monies? Okay, so that's going to take a little bit then. Apparently, that thing's going to come back too. i got to figure out a way to increase my HP, I guess. Oh, we start over from, like, scratch. We start over from, like, the beginning. Okay. I thought we were going to start over from the last planet because we already wiped the last one. I accept this as my punishment for being a filthy casual. I get it. I get it. 
A laser double tap beam pistol. Yeah, I suppose that works. I'll probably go back to the single shot just so I can conserve ammunition for a little bit because ammunition actually is a big problem in this game. Uh, you find that one weapon you like and you tend to ride it pretty hard like I was doing with that other pistol. Come on. I don't really want to do that trade right there if I can help it. We also don't have any of our add-ons or anything anymore, so we're going to have to find ourselves some new treasures for sure. Uh, these little aliens over here, we can just wipe them out. I'm not too worried about their continued existence on the planet. Did I cut left over this way? I was going to say, I don't think that I did. I don't think that I did. The way that objects all over the map provide cover for the enemy, too, makes you have to take some really, really, really sneaky shots as well. Like, it makes it difficult sometimes to get after the enemy that you really want to get after. What does this thing do? Oh, it summoned that guy again. What's up, dude? I remember you. Yeah, yeah, I have a recollection of our last meeting. I want all these little aliens to die. There we go. Now that all the little aliens are gone, I can kind of focus my efforts on him. If I recall correctly, he dropped some pretty rad stuff. Well, oh, he's dead. Nice. Yeah, so he drops an anti-item, but we can have that converted into a better lose ammo every second. Oh, that sucks. That's really, really bad. So we kind of need to speed run this now, otherwise we're not going to make it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode right here. This is called Planetary Dust Off. I think what you see is what you get with this one, but if you are a fan of kind of arena bullet hell shooters that have some kind of persistent advancement in between runs and kind of resource dumping in order to guarantee you make it a little bit further the next time, this might be a game worth checking out and adding to your collection. It doesn't do anything particularly new inside the realm of the genre. It pretty much follows all of the core tenets that were set out by games before it, but what it does do is a really, really good job of providing a slick, polished experience. Occasionally it creates a ghastly backup. Nice, dude. What it does do is it creates basically a slick, polished experience of what other games have done previously, and for that reason, it's not going to exceed your expectations of, like, Enter the Gungeon or anything else like that, but if you were a fan of Enter the Gungeon or, you know, any of the games in that nebulous, this is another one that you can add to your collection so that you can truly be an addict. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you in expanding out your indie preferences. I will see you all next time. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And other than that, check out the Discord if you wanted to ask me a little bit more about this game in person. I hang out there. That'll be in the links down below, too. And aside from that, I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow, straight up off the block. Goodbye, everybody.